Bounces the ball now, throws it up. Tip is taken, controlled by the Red Devils. Bringing it down court, number 15, Hunter Fuqua. Fuqua now the tip of the key. Passes it over to Randy Anderson. Anderson back to Fuqua. Fuqua on the near side, passes it over to Nisley. Nisley now moves it in. Goes back to the tip of the key to Fuqua. Fuqua looking for somebody to throw it to. Dribbles it once. Passes it off to Nisley. Nisley over to Anderson. Anderson now drives the lane, puts a shot up. It's off the glass, and good. It took the good bounce. Bounced straight up, went in. Now bringing the ball down for the Beavers. Jim Van Houten. Van Houten on the near side. Passes it over to Eric Wolf. Wolf now gets it across the midcourt line. Passes it near to Matt Christensen. Christensen back out to Wolf. Wolf at the tip of the key. Passes it over to Van Houten. Van Houten back to Wolf. Wolf to Van Houten. Van Houten in there to Christensen. Christensen in ski. He stumbles around. And we have a violation traveling on Van Houten. So the first violation of the game, first turnover, our score 2 0. Glendive out in front. 7 12 remaining in the first quarter. We just got underway here now. Going back the other way, Glendive bringing the ball down. Number 13 with the ball, Dan Hood. Passes over to Hunter Fuqua. Fuqua over to Corey Nisley, who drives the lane, puts a shot up, no good. Rebounded in here by the Beavers, taken down by Matt Christensen. Christensen over to Eric Wolf. Wolf now, bring the ball down, passes over to Van Houten. Van Houten on their side, back over to Wolf. Wolf over to Christensen. Christensen looks around, can't find anybody. Passes over to the far side to Van Houten. Van Houten with the shot, no good. Rebounds up and taken by the Glendyes. Corey Nisley with the rebound, he passes it down. And a great save by number 15, Hunter Fuqua, as he throws the ball back into Roger Fasting. Fasting shot up, no good. Rebound by Hood. Hood puts the ball up. Easy bunny, two points. Four nothing, Glendive Red Devils. Bringing the ball back down for the Beavers now. Number 44, Van, or Christensen, excuse me. He gives it over to Van Houten. Van Houten over to Scott Anderson. Anderson back out to Van Houten. Van Houten now over to Christian on the far side. Christian's in the corner, in trouble over there. Gets it back out to Van Houten. Houghton. Van Houten back to Christensen. They work it in the corner. Van Houten back out. Now he looks back in the corner, dribbles around towards the free throw line. Comes over to the near side over to number 10, Eric Wilf. He passes it over to Van Houten. Three-point play. It's up and it's good. Three points. 
Jim Van Houten with the three-pointer and quickly it's 4-3, Glendive. Bringing it back down now, Hunter Fuqua for the Red Devils. Red Devils now on the near side. Fuqua looking around, passes it off to Randy Anderson. Anderson now the tip of the key, looking around. He gives it off to number 21, Corey Nisley. Nisley now off to Fasting. Fasting dribbles around there, and he turns around, jumper, slam, dunk. Roger Fasting, and that's the first one I've seen in a long time, Ed. Turn around, slam dunk by Fasting. Six to three. Beavers bringing the ball down now. There's number 10, Eric Wolf on the far side. Gets it across the mid-course drive, passes off to Van Houten on the near side. Back over to Wolf now at the middle of the key. Back to Van Houten, he's on the near side right in front of us. Passes it over to Scott Anderson. Anderson now back to Van Houten, over to Anderson. Anderson turns it inside to Anderson, excuse me. Christensen to Anderson. Anderson for a turnaround jump shot. And it's suddenly at 6-5 now as the Beavers come right back. Bring the ball down for the Red Devils. Hunter Fuqua, he's to the far side, passes it over to Dan Hood. Dan Hood towards the tip of the key, passes it back to Fuqua. Fuqua drives the left side, nothing there. Passes it off to Corey Nisley. Nisley back out to Fuqua. Fuqua over to Roger Fasting. Fasting, pass underneath to Corey Nisley. His shot up, then good. Eight to five, four to three, three remaining in the first period. Beavers with the ball now, bringing her down. Number 34, Jim Van Houten. He passes it over to Christensen. Christensen over to Gary Ferris. Ferris over to Van Houten, the three-pointer. Good. Van Houten, second three-pointer of the game. And it's 8-8. Eight to eight. And Van Houten is hot from the three-point line as Fuqua brings the ball down for the Red Devils. He passes it back in. It's number 43, Anderson, gets it back out to Fuqua, who passes it over to Neasley. Neasley over to Fasting, but the tip of the key working inside into Dan Hood. Dan Hood passes it back out. They're going to go for three points. The other side, Corey Nielsen shot no good. Rebound by the Beavers. Rebound taken in there by Jim Van Houten, a six-foot-one senior. He passes it off to Christensen on the far side. Christensen back over to Van Houten. Back over to Christensen in the key. He passes across court into Eric Wolf. Wolf now gives it off to Van Houten. Wolf works inside, gives it to Scott Anderson. The ball's knocked away, and the Glendive, Glendive Red Devils retain possession. They throw it down court, give it to Roger Fasting. He's on the near side, throws it over underneath to number 13, Dan Hood, all alone underneath the bucket, and two points in this 10 to 8 Glendive Red Devils. And now Dillon coming back up with the ball. Number 34, Van Houten bringing up the ball. Passes over to the left side. Brings it down across the midcourt stripe now. He gives it over to Eric Wolf on the far side. Back over to Christensen. Christensen turns around and gives it to Van Houten. And Van Houten quickly ties the game. And Van Houten's got it. Eight of the ten points for the Dillon Beavers. We're going back the other way now. Number 15, Hunter Fuqua for the Red Devils. He gives it off to Dan Hood. Dan Hood over in the corner to Corey Nisley. Nisley looking around. Can't find anybody. Puts it back up over to Hunter Fuqua at the tip of the key. He passes it over to Dan Hood. Dan Hood on the left side. He gives it to Fasting. Fasting the tip of the key. Turns around. Puts it up and good. Boy, the big left-hander has a nice touch. Roger Fasting does. Boy, he just went up and he was just floating up there. He's a one well of a ball player, Eddie. We're coming back the other way now. It's Dylan B on the far side over to Matt Christensen. Christensen tried to throw it to Wolf. Wolf lost the pass. We have a couple substitutes coming in. Louis Miller checks into the ball game. He's, he's going to replace uh, Christensen for the Beavers. So Christensen's out for the Beavers in Lewis Miller, number 22. He's a four and a six foot one senior. Now we got Hunter Fuqua over to Dan Hood. Dan Hood now over to Roger Fasting. A passing underneath, and we have a foul on the play. As number 13, Dan Hood, went up for a shot, and he was fouled in there on number 32, Gary Ferris. His first foul. First foul of the ball game, in fact. We've gone almost eight minutes, and that was the first foul of the ball game. Quite a turnaround from the game before. At the line for the Red Devils, number 13, Dan Hood. His first shot is up and good. 13-10, Glendale, Glendale Red Devils out in front. You're right. at this is quite a this is quite a uh, turnaround from the last game. We in, we had 28 fouls called in the first half alone. Okay, Hood makes a second free throw. They're up by four now, 14-10, as Dillon's bringing the ball down. Van Houten down on the near side. Passes over to number 32. That would be Ferris. Ferris now passes it under the key to number 40, Scott Anderson. Anderson back out to Van Houten. Van Houten with a three-pointer. It's up and good. That's his third three-pointer of the quarter. And it's 14-13. And just when Glendye starts pulling away, here comes Van Houten with his three-pointers to quickly slow down the lead. Now we're back to this. Glendye's side. Pass 
Johnson at the top of the key. He decides to shoot. Shot up and good. It's an easy touch. No good, but it's off. Takes a, takes a Dillon bounce and bounces off. And with the rebound, comes the Beavers. We're going the other way as Eric Wolf brings the ball down. Passes off to Van Houten. He's got the hot hand for the Beavers. Back over to Wolf, the top of the key. He gives it to Lewis Miller. And we have a violation and traveling. Now, I'm a little bit surprised that the Glendive Red Devils haven't pulled out of that 2-3 zone defense. They're giving uh, Jimmy Van Houten that uh, three-point shot. And like you had, uh, had mentioned uh, earlier, Ned, that he had connected on uh, three of them. He's put up three of them and connected on all three of them. So I think maybe what they're going to have to do is adjust and maybe come out man-to-man. -man. Kip Cosgriff in the game for the Beavers. He's in for Eric Wolf. Red Devils bringing the ball down now. Ty Duffner, a guard for the Red Devils, brings it down near the top of the key. He gives it off to Corey Neasley. Neasley now off the fast lane. He's at the top of the key. He loses it, but gains possession back. Fasting now at the top of the key. He passes over to Corey Neasley. Neasley tries to pass it into number 25, Brian Doherty. Doherty loses the ball. So we're going to go back the other way now as Kip Cosgrove brings her down. Cosgrove, excuse me, brings it down for the Beavers. Cosgrove on the far side. Passes it over to Louis Miller. Louis Miller looks underneath now. Gives it to... Uh, Gary Ferris, Gary Ferris can't find anything. We've got a shot up, no good, and rebound by number 11, Ty Duffner for the Red Devils. So back we go. And fastening on the near side. Gives it in to Brian Doherty. Doherty can't find anything. Back out to Nisley. We go over to the other side now. It's number 11, Ty Duffner with the ball. He looks around, can't find anything. Oh, now he decides to drive the line up with the shot. No good, he passes off. Two, I think it was a pass. Maybe it wasn't. Number 43 with the bucket Randy Anderson in the ball game for the Red Devils as he scores the bucket makes it 16 to 13 Anderson in the game for Dan Hood Beavers with the ball now Kip Cosgriff out in front with the ball pass over to Lewis Miller Miller back to Cosgriff Cosgriff back over to Miller Miller looks decides not to shoot gives it back over almost stolen in there over to Van Houten and a shot by Cosgriff at the buzzer is no good. So at the end of the first period of play, the Glendive Red Devils 16. The Dillon Beavers 13. We'll be back. And uh -huh. Van Houten on the near side now, dribbling around. Looks back out, gives it to number 20, Kip Cosgriff. Cosgriff over to Louis Miller. Back over to Cosgriff. Cosgriff now dribbles on the near side. He's looking for somebody to pass it to. He gives it back out to Louis Miller. Miller over to Scott Anderson. Scott Anderson dribbles to the far side. Gives it over to Van Houten. Van Houten hammered in there by 21 initially, but nothing called. Now there's a whistle on the play. Has somebody pushing off in there. Try to get the foul here for you. We won't know until uh, the referee Bud Rao comes over to the scorer's table. There was a pushing off foul. Looks like number 21, Corey Nisley. His first foul. And first team foul for the Red Devils. So both teams still a long way from the bonus situation before they shoot that one and one. Inbounding the balls for the Beaver underneath. Underneath their own basket. Louis Miller with the ball on the near side. Looks around, can't find anybody. Sides a dribble, passes it off to Kip Cosgriff. Cosgriff on the far side now. Gives it over to Van Houten. Van Houten in the corner. He's pinned. He can't go anywhere. He gets it back out to Cosgriff. Cosgriff passes it off to Van Houten. Van Houten up and two points. So 16-15 now. Glenn Dives lead cut to one point. So we go the other way. Number 15. Maybe you can remember. Mr. Fuqua for the Red Devils in the game. And we got a shot. A number 43, Andy, Randy Anderson for the Red Devils. Two points. 18-15 now. The Red Devils open their lead back up to three again. Bringing the ball down now for the Beavers. Gary Fares. He passes off to Kip Cosgriff. Cosgriff now to Van Houten on the near side. Van Houten looking around. Can't find anybody. He passes it over to Ferris. Ferris passes inside to number 22, Louis Miller. And he's hammered in there by number 33, Roger Fares. Roger Fasting, his first personal of the game, as Fasting tried to take his arm with him. And into the game, number 31, Darren Snow. And he is in for Hunter Fuqua. So now at the line for the for the Beavers, number 22, Louis Miller. Miller's first free throw, no good. He'll get another one, though, as he's in the act of shooting when the foul occurred. Referee hands him the ball. He dribbles it a couple times. It's on its way. This one's good. 18-16 now. Two-point lead for the Red Devils. As they bring it quickly across. Number 31, Darren Snow. Brings it over to Fasting in the corner. Fasting back out. Number 21, Corey Nisley. 
Neasley over to Darren Snow. Snare back over to Neasley. Over to Fasting. Fasting over to Snow. Snow can't find anybody. Over to Neasley on the baseline. Ten foot jumper, no good. Rebound by Affairs for the Beavers. Here comes the Beavers now the other way. Louis Miller brings the ball down. Gives it off to Van Houten on the near side. Passes it back over to number 22, Louis Miller. Miller at the tip of the key looking for somebody to throw it to. Passes over to Van Houten. Van Houten then throws it away. And the Red Devils will retain possession. Going the other way for the Red Devils. Darren Snow bring the ball down near side. Being guarded closely in there by number 20, Kip Cosgriff. He passes it off to Nisley. Nisley on the near side. Passes it off to Fasting at the tip of the key. Back over to Darren Snow. Snow underneath to number 13, Dan Hood. And that's two points for the Red Devils, 20 to 16. And an inbounds pass by the Beavers. They throw it away and it's picked up by number 31, Darren Snow for the Red Devils. So the Red Devils have a chance to increase their lead to six points. Passing at the top of the key. He dribbles around, looks for somebody, can't find anything. Gives it off to Snow. Snow drives the lane, passes it off to Dan Hood. Hood back out now to Darren Snow. Snow at the fasting. Fasting's at the tip of the key. He's looking around, dribbles once or twice. Gives it over to Corey Neasley. Neasley looks inside, gives it to Hood. Hood over to Snow. Snow over to Fasting from 20 feet. No good. And rebound by Van Houten for the Beavers. Van Houten now brings the ball all the way down the near side. He passes it off to Kip Cosgriff. Cosgriff off to the right side. He gives it off to Louis Miller. Miller looking around. Can't find anybody. He gives it to Cosgriff over in the far corner. Miller now. Pass over to Van Houten. The three-pointer. No good. That's the second three-pointer. He's missed. And number 22, Louis Miller with the rebound, and he throws it away as he gives it right to the hands of Darren Snow. So an offensive board's for the Beavers, but they give it away. Darren Snow now on the other side at the tip of the key. Gives it off to Dan Hood. Hood now over in the corner, gives it off to Nisley. Nisley back to Snow. Snow gives it in the fast teams. Baseline jumper, two points. 22-16, 420 remaining. It's a 10 point so far period. in this ball game for uh, Roger Fasting. Excuse me, Ed, I didn't mean to get uh, there. And we got a timeout, Dylan, with 4 11 remaining in the second period. Glendive 22, Dylan 16. We'll be back in 60 seconds. And here's the ball. He passes off from the corner, number 40, Sky Hanson. Hanson loses the ball. Red Devils come up with it. Bring the ball down for the Red Devils 15, Hunter Fuqua. Fuqua now at the tip of the key. He passes it off to number 23, Scott Dustman. Duffner over back over to Fuqua on the far corner. Fuqua now driven around looking for something to pass off to. He gets it back out to Darren Snow. Darren Snow passes it over to. I can see here what's got Duffner. And Duffner hits a three-pointer. And suddenly it's a nine-point ball game. 25-16 to Red Devils. Up by nine with 328 remaining in the second quarter. Quickly now for the Beavers. Bringing the ball down. Eric Wolf, number 10, in the middle of the court. Dribbles in the corner, can't find anything he likes. Goes back out to Darren Snow. Snow decides to take a four-foot jumper. No good. Rebound by Ferris. Ferris hits the outlet pass to Eric Wolf. Eric Wolf to the far side over to Louis Miller. Louis Miller goes underneath to Van Houten. Van Houten can't find anything. He gets it back out to Eric Wolf. He passes it off to Louis Miller. Louis Miller loses the ball on it. Up comes to Darren Snow for the Red Devils. 25-18 our score, 228 remains. There's Snow now dribbling the ball down for the Red Devils. Takes a three-pointer. Throws it off to number 35. See if I can find number 35 here. Tom Hubert. We had some technical difficulties there. Now we've got them straightened out. Here we go. We have a player control foul against the Red Devils. And we'll see if we can get that player control foul for you. 25-18 our score, 206 remains. The foul's on number 23, Scott Duffner, his first. So bring the ball down now for the Beavers. Number 34, Van Houten. Van Houten now 
Got caught in a trap at midcourt, putting a little pressure on by the Devils. And how now the tip of the key passes over to number 24, Kevin Donovan. Donovan can't find anything back over to Van Houten. And Houghton over to number 44, Matt Christensen, who loses the ball. Red Devils now going down the other way. Hunter Foucault with a 12 footer shot. Good, two points. 27 18 our score now. A minute 33 remains. Coming back now for the Beavers. Van Houten on the near side. That midcourt trap again by the Red Devils. Seems to be working pretty good. Ferris all alone underneath. Puts it up. Shot's no good, but he's fouled. And the foul will be on number 23, 35. Oh, excuse me, number 41. No, no, I was right. Number 35, Tom Huber with his first personal. And to the line will be Gary Ferris for the Beavers. His first shot is up and no good. That'll keep the score 27-18. A minute 20 remains in the second period. Referee hands the ball to Ferris for his second shot. Takes a big sigh of relief and makes this one. 27-19 now. Now we go back the other way. Number 21 for the Red Devils. Corey Neasley with the ball. He's in the near corner. Passes off to Hunter Fuqua. Hunter Fuqua looking around for somebody open. Can't find anybody. Passes it back out to Roger Fasting. Fasting back over to Fuqua at the tip of the key. Fuqua works it inside, and we're going to have a foul on number 40, Scott Anderson. Anderson climbed on the back. At number 35, Tom Huber. It's fourth, that's 14 foul on uh, the Dillon Beavers. First personal foul on uh, Scott Anderson. So Hunter Fuqua will take the ball underneath their own basket for the Red Devils. As neither team is in the bonus yet, and a nice pass inbounds by Fuqua to number 21. Uh, Neasley, Neasley missed the easy shot and rebounded Dillon. We're going the other way. Van Houten down, back down. Over number 24, Kevin Donovan. He passes over to Christensen. Christensen looks around now. He throws it away as he tried to hit Donovan over in the near corner. It was nowhere near him and threw the ball away. Got a couple substitutions for the Red Devils. Bringing the ball down for the Red Devils. Number 15. Hunter Fuqua. Fuqua now passes off to number 23, Scott Duffner. Duffner back over to Fuqua. Fuqua in the far corner, looking around for somebody. Can't find anybody. Looks inside, gets number 41. Dave Ulrich with a nice turnaround jumper, and she's 29-19 with 18 seconds remaining in the second period. Dylan now coming back down. Scott Anderson dribbles on the near side. Back out to Van Houten. Van Houten dribbles around the tip of the key. And we've got a foul. Foul number 11, Ty Duffner. Nine seconds remain. That's Ty Duffner's first foul. That's a 15 foul for the uh, Red Devils. So we're we're going into the bonus situation with uh, with nine seconds left to go in the game. Uh, it's quite a contrast from game number three as we right, don't shoot the bonus till nine seconds left in the second period. At the line for the Beavers, Van Houten with his first shot up and the bonus no good. Rebound by the Red Devils. Thrown away by number 11, Ty Duffner. Van Houten with the three-point shot attempt, no good. It was kind of a desperation shot. He should have taken his time. I don't think he realized how much time was on the clock. Well, I think he probably looked up there after that free throw and saw there was nine seconds. There's three left now. So now, Glendive Red De inbounds the pass with yeah. three seconds. No, and that pass go went in. Hunter Foucault with a half-court shot. Yep, the referee did. say no good. And I think it was a good call by the referee. That is a That's right. Buzzer definitely sounded. So our halftime score, Glendive 29, Dylan 19. We'll be back in TXGN. Our listeners up on Glendive and down in Beaverhead County Station KDBA. I hope you're enjoying the broadcast. And the second half's underway as Glendive has possession by the possession arrow. And they're at the near side now. As Hunter Fuqua with the ball on the near side passes out to Nisley. Nisley over to Fasten to the tip of the key. Back over to Nisley in the far corner. He gives it back to Fasten, puts it back underneath. And a nice rejection in there by Scott Anderson as the Beavers get the ball back as Eric Wolf brings it down for the Beavers. He's at the tip of the key now, looking around for somebody to pass off to. He gives it off to number 44, Matt Christensen. 
Back over to Wolf. Wolf underneath the Ferris. Ferris up and turn around jumper. Two points. So quickly the Beavers come out and get on the board. 29-21 now as Glenn dives out in front by eight over the Beavers. Fuqua brings the ball down for the Red Devils. Passes it off to Nisley. Nisley back to Fuqua. Fuqua drives the key on his side to back off. He gives it out to Fasting. Fasting passes over to Nisley. Knocked away by Eric Wolf. Almost a nice steal as the ball's loose and everybody's kicking it around and finally Scott Anderson kicks it over to the Dillon cheerleaders and it'll be Glenn Dye's ball coming back. That was a great hustle by Roger Fasting to keep that keep that ball alive or else Eric Wolf would have taken the ball in for the easy bunny but he was hustling all the time. So Fuqua now with the ball for the Red Devils. He passes off to Fasting on the far corner. He gets it back out. He passes across court back to Fuqua. Fuqua now on the near side looking for somebody to pass off to as he gives it to Fasting who came from underneath. Fasting now turns around, gives it to number 13. 13 with the turnaround jumper. And let's see. Dan 13 Hood. be Dan Hood. Dan Hood missed the turnaround jumper and Dillon with the rebound. So now Dillon can cut the lead to six points as Van Houten dribbles on the far side. Gives it to Eric Wolf. Wolf over to Matt Christensen on the near side. Christensen passes off to Van Houten. Van Houten back out now to number 10, Eric Wolf. Wolf and Van Houten having a little pass again. Now they go over to the far side to Christensen. Christensen now looking for somebody to throw to. They give it back to Wolf at the tip of the key. Over to Christensen. Back over to Van Houten on the far side. Shot up and good. Two points from Christensen, a 12-foot jumper. And 29-23 now is our score as Fuqua brings the ball down for the Beavers. That's great hustle on the part of Jimmy Van Houten because Roger Fasting was all over him. And now Nisley with the ball for the Red Devils. And the first side, he gives it out to Fasting. Fasting shot is no good and rebounded by the Beavers. And here comes the Beavers, 29-23. They're down by six. Scott Anderson goes coast to coast and passes it off the glass. Two points. And 29-25 as the Beavers are making a comeback. And Hunter Fuqua bringing the ball down for the Red Devils. He's on the near side, dribble around, guarded in there by Eric Wolf. Gives it off to Fasting. Fasting over to Nisley. Nisley over to Fuqua. Fasting now on the near side. Decides to drive. He's pushed near by Ferris and puts a shot up and good. 31-25 now as the Red Devils go back up by six. The Beavers coming down the other way. Anderson over to Wolf. Wolf underneath the... Ferris, Ferris almost loses the ball. Gets it back out to Van Houten. Van Houten then passes off to Wolf, who gives it back to Van Houten on the near side. Van Houten over to Wolf. Tip of the key. No good. Tries to pass inside. Ball's stolen away in there by Hunter Fuqua. Fuqua brings the ball down now for the Red Devils as we head the other way. Fuqua over to Nisley on the near side. Nisley, the fasting. Tip of the key. Uh, Nisley with a three-point attempt. No good. Rebound by Wolf. By, excuse me, by Scott Anderson for the Beavers. Wolf now over to Van Houten on the far side for the Beavers. Back over to Wolf. Wolf to Christensen on the near side. He's looking for somebody to pass off to. Can't find anybody. Gives over to Van Houten. Three-point play. No good. In and out. And the rebound fought for and finally taken down by number 43, Randy Anderson for the Red Devils. Bringing it down for the Red Devils. Number 15, Hunter Fuqua. He's on the near side. Gives it to Fasting. That's Fasting's favorite play. right there at the tip of the key. They work a lot of plays off that man. And Fuqua gets the ball back. Drives and puts up a short jumper from the free throw line. And it's good. 33-20 Five. Red Devils back up by eight. Quickly, here comes the Beavers back down. Van Houten on the far side. Passing is tipped out of bounds by Hunter Fuqua. It'll be Beavers ball on the far side of the court. Throwing the ball in for the Beavers. Number 44, Matt Christensen. Louis Miller in the game. He's going to replace Matt Christensen. So all kinds of substitutes early in the third period. Now as Eric Wolf dribbles for the Beaverhead County Beavers at the tip of the key, he gives it out to Van Houten on the far side. Van Houten now dribbles down in the corner, can't find anybody. Gives it out to Louis Miller. Louis Miller back to Van Houten. They can't find anything. They work the ball around. They reverse it. Give it over to Eric Wolf on the near side. Wolf now dribbles down the corner. He's covered here by two Glendale defenders. He throws it away. That's where Fuqua ends up with the ball as he brings it down for the Red Devils. Fuqua now stops the tip of the key, gives it off to Corey Niels. Nisley, Nisley now over to Roger Fastings. Fastings back over to Fuqua. Fuqua to Fastings. Fastings three-pointer from 21 feet, and it's good for three, 36 to 25. And quickly, the Red Devils go back up by 11 points. And it just shows the caliber of ball team these Red Devils are, Ed. That's absolutely right. I think that would have been a three-point play in the NBA. He was, a, he was a good 21, 22 feet back. Yes, he was. It was one nice shot by Mr. Fasting. And we're back down the other end now as we have all kinds of substitutes coming in for 
for the Beavers and the Red Devils. Hubner checks in for the Red Devils. And number 44 comes back in for Scott Duffner also the Beavers. Checks in. Scott Duffner also checks in for the Red Devils. Now we're back to live action as Eric Wolf, the tip of the key, gives it to Louis Miller. Louis Miller on the near side, turns around, can't find anybody. Gives it over to Van Houten. Van Houten with three-pointer, no good. Tries to get his own rebound, can't. And Dave Ulrich, number 41 for the Red Devils. I've noticed one thing when uh, Jimmy Van Houten shoots that three-point play, he's more successful on the left-hand side than the right. Shot by number 23, Scott Duffner for the Red Devils, no good. Rebounded by the Beavers. Bringing it down is number 34, Van Houten. Van Houten passes it off to Wolf. He gives it over to Matt Christensen on the near side. He passes underneath the Ferris. Ferris, it's an easy bunny, two points. 36-27. Glendive over the Beavers, bringing it down now, number 31. Uh, where's 31? Darren Snow for the Red Devils. He passes it off to Fasten. And Fasten for two points. 38-27 now as Glendive goes back up by 11 points. Bring the ball back down for the Beavers. Number 10, Eric Wolf on the near side. Pass it over to Van Houten. He's at the mid-course drive. Gets it back over to Wolf on the near side. He gets it into Ferris. Ferris in trouble there. Can't find anything. We got a foul on number 23, Scott Duffner for the Red Devils. That's first personal foul on uh, Duffner. First team foul. That's the first foul, or the second foul on Duffner. Excuse me. That's only the first foul called in this second half. And there's 157 left to go in the second or in the third quarter. So the Beavers win on the ball underneath their own basket. Van Houten throwing the ball in. Gives it off to Ferris. Ferris with the jump shot. No good. Ferris claiming he was fouled, but to no avail as the Red Devils will bring the ball down. Hunter Fuqua with the ball. He's at the middle of the court in the tip of the key. Screen off by Fasting. Passes off to Fasting over to Corey Nisley. Nisley now with the ball on the near side. Passes over to Fasting on the far side. Cross court pass. Fasting drives the lane. Shoots up a baseline jumper. It's good. 40 to 27. A 13 point difference. Now with a minute 31 remaining in the third period. And we have a timeout. Beaverhead County Beavers. So with a minute 29 remaining, our score. Glendive Red Devils 40. The Dillon Beavers 27. We'll be back in Civic Center live action. Beavers with the ball. Number 34, Van Houten at the tip of the key. Passes it off to number 24. Yes, that would be Kevin Donovan. Donovan over to Christensen. Christensen with the baseline jumper. No good. Rebound in there. I think we're going to have a jump ball. Yes, that's what the officials call, and the Beavers will retain possession on the arrow. 40 to 27, our score. Glendive out in front over the Beavers. Minute 12 remaining in the third period. Van Houten inbounding for the Beavers. Gives it out to Christensen. Christensen dribbles on the near side. Gives it back to Van Houten. Van Houten out to number 24, Donovan. Donovan back to Van Houten. Van Houten now dribbles on the near side. Gives it into Ferris. Back out to Van Houten. Van Houten with a three-pointer. It's good. So 40 to 30 now as Van Houten hits his fourth three-pointer. Bring Hunter Fuqua bringing the ball down for the Red Devils. Makes some nice moves. He gets around Kevin Donovan. Now he passes off to 35. Tom Huber. Huber over to Nistler. Nistler now with the baseline shot. It's good. So Nisley now, the two-point play, 42-30. Red Devils out in front. Back the other side now. Ferris over to Van Houten. Van Houten back to Donovan. Donovan with the three-pointer. It's off, no good. Bounce around, almost goes in. Rebound, Red Devils, long break. Nisley all alone underneath. Oh, and he can't quite make it as he steps on the baseline, and we're going to go back. 18 seconds remain. And into the ball game for... Glendive, into the ball Red, Devils, into the Red Devils, number 13, Dan Hood, excuse me, Ed. And we're going back the other way for the Beavers now. It's number 24, Kevin Donovan brings the ball down on the near side. Over to Van Houten on the far side, back over to Donovan. Donovan into midcourt trap now by the Red Devils. Pass over the far side, pass is stolen away in there by number 15, Fuqua. He gives it off to Dan Hood, and there's a shot off at the end of the third quarter. And our score at the end of three, Glendive Red Devils 42, Bill and Beavers 30. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Glendive will take the ball out on the possession arrow. Hunter Fuqua with the ball in the middle of the court. Being guarded closely in there by number 24, Kevin Donovan. He passes off to Nisley. Nisley back to Fuqua. Fuqua back over to Nisley now. He looks around, looks for Fuqua. Fuqua passes over to Fasting. Fasting back over to Nisley. Nice shot by Nisley. Off the rolls off the rim. No good. Rebound by number 25, Doherty. 
Yeah. He was stuffed in there. I didn't get who stuffed him, but the, he, it was stuffed by uh, Gary Ferris. Ferris about tore his arms off on the rejection. Now we're back on the Dillon side. 44 Christensen tries to throw it inside to Ferris. He throws it away in this league. Ends up with the ball. So the Red Devils working their way back now. Fuqua back. Passes into number 25. That'll be Brian Doherty. Doherty now over to Nisley. Gives it to Roger Fassi. Fassi going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Nice shot. But it's fouled in there by number 32, Ken Ferris. Uh, that's Gary Ferris. Gary Ferris. Ken's his father. No, okay. <laughs> now you're giving away your age. <laughs> would, you, would you play with his dad or something? <laughs> Going to the line for the Red Devils, number 33, Roger Fasting. And uh, so far, the Red Devils have played flawless basketball. Ed. That's right. Uh, our stand man, Tim Rogers, said that the turnover ratio, the Beavers have uh, 12 compared to 5 for the uh, Red Devils. That's hard to believe in a high school game that uh, they would only have 5 turnovers. That is hard to believe. Eric Wolf and Scott Anderson in for the Beavers. Most teams consider it successful when they uh, have 15 turnovers or less, and here the Red Devils only have five. And fast, he misses both free throws. It's 42-30. As Eric Wolf brings the ball down for the Beavers, he's going to dribble over to the near side of the court, being guarded in there by Fuqua. He dribbles down in the corner, decides to pass off to number 22, Miller. Miller over to Donovan. Donovan gets it into Ferris. Ferris doesn't know what to do with the pass. It's back out to Wolf. Over to Donovan in the three-point range. Shots up, no good. Rebound by Miller. Miller drives the line, puts it up, bounces off, no good. Rebound by the Beavers. Number 40 puts it up and scores. That's uh, so Scott Anderson. That's a name that we haven't uh, called too much tonight, Scott Anderson. He's been bottled up in the inside with Fasting and uh, Randy Miller. So Corey Neasley now with the ball for the Red Devils. Gives it out to Fuqua. Comes over the near side. Fuqua now dribbles towards the middle of the court. Gives it off to Fasting on the far side. Fasting threatens the drive, then backs off. Back out to Fuqua. Fuqua back over to Fasting on the far side. Fasting now. We have a foul on Louis Miller. Louis Miller. Yeah, first close. foul on uh, Louis Miller. Uh, he, he took the head fake that Fasting uh, gave him. Into the ball game, Van Houten for so the that, Beavers. That's only the uh, second uh, team team foul for the Beavers. One team, one team foul for the Red Devils. Two for the Beavers. So the Red Devils will take the ball underneath their own baskets. Fuqua at the tip of the key. He takes the inbound pass over to Corey Neasley. Nisley now tries to drive the lane, gets it into 43. His shot's rejected, but a nice rebound by Dan Hood. He puts it in off the glass for two. 44-32 now. Red Devils up by 12 and bringing the ball down for the Beavers. Almost stolen in there by Fuqua. But now 34 for the Beavers takes a long shot. Jimmy Van, Van Houten. Houten. He was a little bit too far away for that time, I That's think, right, for I, a three-pointer. Uh, he was back at least 22, 23 feet on that one. I think he was trying to get the Beavers back into the game real real quick. Glendive now bringing the ball down. Nisley over to Fasting, over the 10 second line. Fasting on the far side of the court, gives it to Fuqua. Fuqua back to Fasting, back to Fuqua. Fuqua now with the alley-oop, but Van Houten breaks that up and steals the ball, so we'll go back the other way. Eric Wolf now bringing the ball down. He passes off to Van Houten. Van Houten can't find anything to do with it, so he gives it back to Wolf. Van Houten now on the far side. Holding the ball over his head, passes it over to Wolf. Wolf looking around, trying to set up a play. He can't find anybody open. Finally, Van Houten comes over from the baseline and gives it back over to Wolf. Over to Van Houten. Van Houten for another three pointer. No good off the glass and rebound. Fastings for Glendive. So back we go the other way. Number 15, Hunter Fuqua with the ball. And timeout, Red Devils. So with 4.58 remaining in the fourth period. Glendive 44, Dillon 32. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Glendive's ball at midcourt. Hunter Fuqua, middle of the court, dribble the ball. Guarded in there by two Dillon defenders. Eric Wolf on him tighter than most. Gives it over to Corey Neasley. Neasley back to Fuqua. Fuqua dribbles to the right side and gives it off to Dan Hood. Back to Fuqua. Being guarded in there by Wolf. He gives it over to Fastings. Fastings now gives it back to Neasley. Neasley drives the lane and puts a shut up, and we've got a foul. The, 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 the basket um, was good, but I don't know if, it's, if the foul was before or after the uh, shot. Foul on number 32, Gary Ferris. So the foul was before, so it'll be the Red Devils' ball underneath. So the bucket's no good. That's right. And the Red Devils will take the ball out underneath. Hunter Fuqua 
throwing the ball in. Has a little trouble finding somebody. Finally finds Dan Hood. Hood over to Nisley. Nisley now out to Fuqua, the tip of the key. Back over to Nisley. Nisley over to Fasting. Fasting on the far side. So stolen away there by Van Houten. Van Houten now dribbling down the near side. Crosses the mid-court line. As here comes the Beavers now. Eric Wolf at the tip of the key. Dribbles around. They're trying to set up some sort of offense. Then they give it in to Kerry Ferris inside. He can't do anything. Gives it back out to Van Houten. Van Houten pumps it back inside to Ferris. Ferris drives the lane. Nice drive. Two points. 44-34 now. As the Beavers down by 10. Bringing her down for the Red Devils. Number 20. Corey Nisley. Nisley now passes off to Fuqua. Fuqua stopped on the backcourt, passes over to Nisley. Almost a 10 second violation. Nisley's pass is interrupted and stolen by the Beavers. Van Houten steals the ball. As Glendive got a little careless on their passes, the Beavers steal the ball. Eric Wolf brings the ball down on the far side, gets it underneath to number 40, Scott Anderson. Scott Anderson shot no good. Rebound by Ferris. He gets the offensive boards and puts it in. And suddenly, it's only eight points now separating these two teams. That's right. The Beavers are making a run at them. They're playing a tenacious defense here, full court pressing. And we got a violation. Double dribble on Glendive, and Glendive wants a timeout. So with 3.25 remaining, Glendive 44, Dylan 36. We'll be back in 60 seconds for the Dylan Beavers. But Glendive now has turned the ball over the last three times down the court, and Dylan will be taking the ball out of half court. The ball down now, number 20. Kip Cosgriff for the Beavers. He passes off the 22. Louis Miller and Miller can't find the handle. And a turnover for the Beavers. That was a costly turnover by the Dillon Beavers. Throwing the ball in now for the Red Diet. Bringing it down court. Number 11, Ty Dunfner. Dunfner with a shot, no good. Rebound by number 13, Dan Hood. And we have a foul on number 32. Louis, that's a foul on uh, Louis Miller. That's second personal foul on Louis Miller. That's the uh, second team foul on the on the Beavers. So it'll be the Red uh, Devils ball on the baseline. Inbounding now for the uh, Red Devils is Fasting. He gets it into Fuqua. Fuqua back over to Fasting in the corner. Fuqua now works it back outside. Gives it to number 11, Ty Duffner. Duffner now does some fancy dribbling out there and gives it back over to Fasting. And Fasting now back over to Duffner. He gives it back to Fuqua outside the middle of the court. At the tip of the key, Fasting with the ball. Threatens to drive in, doesn't. Throws the ball off to Duffner. Duffner now back to Fasting. Fasting with the ball over his head looking for somebody to pass it to. He decides to drive. Takes a nice baseline shot. Nice soft touch by the big left-hander. And two points. 46-36. We're back up to a 10-point spread. Van Houten bring the ball down for the Beavers. Not alone underneath, 22, Louis Miller. He banks it off the glass, two points. And somebody missed an assignment for the Red Devils as Miller was all alone on the fast break. And quickly, it's an eight-point ball game again. Bringing the ball down now for the Red Devils. Fuqua at midcourt. Dribbles up to the tip of the key. He's guarded heavily in there by two Beavers. And we have a foul on number 34 for the Beavers. It's Jim and Van Houten. And into the game for the Beavers, number 44, Matt Christensen. And leaving will be number 20, Kip Cosgriff. That's the uh, fifth team foul on the on the uh, Beavers, so that'll that'll send the Red Devils to the line. On the other hand, the uh, Red Devils only have one team foul. Ty Duffner to the line to shoot a one-on-one -on -one for the Red Devils. Shots on the way, it's good. Nine-point ball game. Now 2.10 remains in the fourth period. Duffner will get another one as he earned the bonus. Official hands on the ball. He dribbles a couple times. And the shot's on its way. It's also good. We're back to a 10-point lead. And the substitutes come in a little early, and Glendive's got six men on the court, so we stop action. There was a little mix-up there between the scorers and the officials. So now Dylan will inbounds the ball once again. Scott Anderson brings the ball into Matt Christensen. Christensen back over to Van Houten. They're in the backcourt. Somewhat of a press by Glendive. Just to put a little pressure on him. Louis Miller now with the ball. Gives it out to Van Houten. Van Houten dribbles to the near side. He throws it to the near side corner over to number 44, Christensen. Christensen dumps it underneath to Anderson. He gives it to Kenny Ferris. Ferris drives the lane. Two points. And we've got timeout. 
Timeout Dillon. So with our score 48 to 40, Glendive on top. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Glendive's ball underneath their own basket, a full court pressure defense by the Beavers. They try to get the ball in, and they do get the ball in. Fuqua with the ball, dribbling on the near side. He stops dribbling now, tries to pass off, throws the best court. He throws the ball away, right in the hands of Matt Christensen for the Beavers. Passes off to Van Houten. Van Houten crosses the 10-second line, and he gives it back over to Christensen. Christensen now trying to dribble around. Gives it back out to Van Houten. Van Houten back to Christensen. Christensen with the 18-footer. It's good. So 48-42, six points. Well, the only difference between these two teams, and Glendive throws the ball away again. Boy, I'll tell you, that was great hustle on the part of Gary Fares. Gary Fares, uh, he got his hands in there and got the pass, but when he came down, he stepped on the line. The official Bud Rao was right there. Then dive ball inbounds. So almost a great play by Ferris. Now the Red Devils get it inbounds. As Corey Nisley dribbles to the far side, tries to get the ball. In, and the ball stolen away again by Kenny from Gary Ferris. Gives it off to number 22, Miller. Miller with the bank shot, no good. Rebound by Eric Wolf, and a bucket will go. And he's fouled in there by number 25. The smallest man on the court, Eric Wolf, got the rebound, went up with it. He was fouled. 25, Brian Doherty so with the foul. That and we got, a, well, we got a dandy going here. That makes the score 48-44. The Beavers have come screaming back. And we've got a timeout by Glendive. So with a minute eight remaining, we'll be back in 60 seconds. So Eric Wolf has a chance to pull the Beavers within three points with a minute eight remaining in the fourth quarter. He's at the free throw line shooting one as his basket counted on the foul by Brian Doherty. Wolf's free throw on the way. It's up, and it's good. 48-45. We've got a barn burner. We're going to finish up with a dandy today, Eddie. Glendive tries to get the ball in. They do. It was a fast thing. in the corner. He almost throws the ball away. Now they got a breakaway shot by number 13, and he's fouled. He was fouled by Gary Ferris, and I'll tell you, he hammered Dan Hood. He knocked Dan right down to the hardwood. I'll tell you, that was, that was a vicious foul, but it was the only thing that uh, uh, Gary Ferris could do. That's the fourth person personal foul on Gary Ferris. And that's one of those fine line fouls that brings in that intentional foul rule. The officials rule it non-intentional, but he was in the act of shooting. And he will get two shots. Christensen out of the game as Scott Anderson comes in for the Beavers. They, I think they bring in Anderson for, to get that rebound. Scott is down 6-4. Right Dan here. Hood at the line for Glendive. He misses the first free throw. 48-45, we got exactly one minute remaining in the fourth quarter. We have about a thousand uh, fans from, Deer, or from uh, the Dillon Valley standing right down here in front of us, and they're all on their feet screaming. Good second shot. It's on the way. It's good, four points. Four-point lead now for the Red Devils as Eric Wolf brings the ball down for the Beavers. He passes over to Van Houten. Van Houten on the far side crosses the 10-second line. Passes it back over to Wolf. We'll get it to Ferris. Ferris drives the lane. Ferris puts up a bunny. And no, we got a traveling violation called against Ferris. So the ball will go the other way. 49-45. Ferris made the shot, but the official ruled traveling before he shot it. So now we've got the Glendive. We'll get the ball back with 49 seconds remaining. And back into the game goes Matt Christensen. He's in for Scott Anderson. Anderson takes a breather as we got. I think a we foul. have a foul. Where it's going to be called on Eric Wolf. Uh, he went. He went up the uh, the back of of one of the Red Devils. Uh, he went up the back of Corey uh, Nisley. So that's going to put him at the line shooting one and one. So Eric Wolf with the foul. Back into the game comes Scott Anderson. He replaces Christensen once again. <laughs> As Coach Finberg moves Anderson and Christensen in freely. At the line for the Red Devils, Corey Nisley. His first shot's on the way, it's good. Five point difference now, 48 seconds remain. We're in the fourth and final game of day one of the 1987 State Class A Championship Basketball. Nielsen's second shot on the way, it's no good. Rebounded off to Van Houten. Van Houten dribbles down the far side. He's being guarded in there by Fasting. Passes off to Eric Wolf. Wolf almost loses the ball now. Gets control of his dribbles to the near side. Over in the corner, passes it off to Ferris. It's knocked away in there by Hood. And the officials rule it'll be Dylan's ball underneath their own basket. So Dylan will take the ball underneath their own bucket. Dan Hood almost had that ball for the Red Devils. 
And the official gives the ball into number 34, Van Ham. He passes into Wolf. Wolf drives the key, puts a shot up. It's no good. Rebound fought for, scrambled for. We got a, whoa, we don't know who's going to end up with it. We've got the ball running around. Everybody jumping jump around. Ball. And the officials are going to rule a jump ball. And the possession arrow goes towards Dillon. So that's a good break for Dillon as they did the possession arrow in their favor as the officials called jump ball. There's only 27 seconds left in this one. Score 50-45. Red Devils. Inbounding for the Beavers. Miller. He passes it off to uh, Anderson. Anderson passes it back off to Van Halen. Van Halen takes a 20-footer. No good. Rebound by Christensen. He puts it up and good. And timeout Dillon. With 16 seconds remaining. 50-47. to 47. Glendive on top. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Glendive on top, 50 to 47. They'll be bringing the ball in underneath Dylan's basket. Dylan has to use some pressure now. They're going to have to foul somebody. They got to get the ball back. They're only down by a three. That brings into effect again that three-point play. That means a lot in these high school games. That's now. absolutely right. We had, we had uh, talked about that earlier. I'll tell you, this, this Beaver team has played one whale of a defense so far in this uh, fourth quarter. Bringing the ball down for the B or Red Devils. And all alone underneath is Corey Nisley. He makes it easily. As Dillon had fasting trapped up on the backcourt, they gave it away. And all alone underneath was Corey Nisley. And that's the ball game as the Red Devils from Glendive go on to defeat the Dillon Beavers 52-47. We'll be back in two minutes.